Honor Club, where honor is real. It is the pure edition of Ring of Honor Wrestling. Ian Riccoboni and Caprice Coleman. And Caprice, we have an interesting bout in front of us here today. A man who has been in the pure rankings, a man in the foundation who represents all that is pure professional wrestling. Let's take it to Bobby Cruz for our introduction. This match is set for one fall with a 15 minute time limit and it will be contested under pure wrestling rules. Introducing first, wrestling out of Strong Beach Island, New Jersey. Weighing 218 pounds. He is representing the foundation, the professional Rick Titus. Professional Red Titus has been in the pure rankings in the top five, trying to break through to get into the top three. We're joined right now by Tracy Williams. And Tracy, you are out here. You've returned to action since best in the world. And you're out here to get a bird's eye view to cheer on Red Titus. That's right, one of the best seats in the house, gentlemen. And it's an honor to share it with you guys. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it, we'll go back to Bobby Cruz. His opponent, wrestling out of Carver, Massachusetts. Weighing 224 pounds. He's representing the OGK, Mike Bennett. You know, Red opened a lot of eyes in his championship opportunity back in Philadelphia against Jonathan Gresham, as did Mike Bennett back at Best in the World. These are two men that are at the top of the game in the pure division. Back to live action, Code of Honor at here, too. Boy, look at the professional, boy, that face. This is a, I tell you what, Tracy, man, y'all have turned Rhett into a king, man. This guy's a special now. You know, he was always that good is the thing. He has always been that good. Yes. But this is just, we've just, you know, what the foundation is all about is giving wrestlers like Rhett Titus a chance to prove that they are that good and prove that what they do in the ring can stand up to the standard. And, you know, Rhett Titus, Everybody who knows him has known he's that good for a long time. I promise you, I've been friends with Red Titus for almost 10 years, mm -hmm. and, and I've been telling him this for years, and I'm I'm just so glad he's getting an opportunity to show the world what we've already known. Hammerlock into a head scissor here, and Red Titus trying to inch Mike Bennett closer to the ropes. Then the ropes are important in pure matches to catch newer fans up. You get three rope breaks. If you exhaust them, you can be pinned on, under, between the ropes. You get one closed fist to the face. The second results in disqualification. 20 counter on the outside, and if anybody interferes on your behalf, they are fired, and you're in some deep water as well. Yeah, so don't go nowhere, Tracy, because I'm kind of friends with Red. I'd be mad yeah. at you, buddy. Now, Rhett's got this one, you know, I, I trust in him. And I think that's one of the best rules in, in the pure division, to be honest, because, mm -hmm. I mean, how ridiculous is it to have somebody run down to the ring and interfere in somebody else's match? Absolutely. That's a grave consequence. You know, sometimes contract. I see stoplights at places that I know the stoplight is only there because somebody calls it to be there. <laughs> Just a one count there. Same yes. thing with these rules. Right. How crazy is it that we, that we need to say that? Yeah, right? I mean, exactly. <laughs> but, I mean... Yeah, you see the power of Bennett coming into play here, but Titus knows where he is. He's been in so many Pure Rules matches, and you know he's been working with us in the foundation, and, and he is a comfortable Pure wrestler. You saw him earlier with that head scissors that he had on, trying to force Bennett to use the rope breaks. And right now, look at this, wow. Bennett is the in the bridge. bad situation here. I've never seen a position where the person in the bridge was in the power position. Two. We talked about the physique of Mike Bennett. Don't yeah. sleep on Red Titus. That's what I was saying. When Bennett went up for the bridge, he Brett was so high that it put Bennett in a bad position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Bennett made the mistake there of taking both of his feet off of the ground yeah. voluntarily, right. which is something you want to rarely do. And I think once Bennett got up there, he realized what was happening, mm -hmm. and it was too late. Yeah. Common elbow tie up now into the takeover, take down, head scissor here from Bennett. 15 minute time limit. If it goes to the time limit, it goes to the judges. Will Ferrara, Gary Jester, and Sumi Sakai, who are here scoring this bout as we speak. And we've had some matches go to the judges, and there's been some controversial there decisions. Has. There has. I think somebody needs to take a look at Gary Juster. No. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's huh. the culprit there. Yes. There's been a lot. Did you, did you hear that from Jay Lethal? Yeah. Is that the reason why I he just, said I that? just know somebody's got to look into yeah. it. Yeah. I think Gary Juster benefited. Yeah, Jay Lethal benefited. Right. From Gary that's Juster's why. That's call. why. Yeah. I, I knew that's where it was coming from. 
But see, we're fair, you know, we're fair. And we, we don't want to see people get wins that they don't deserve. You know, I'm not uh, saying that that was the case, but, you know, no matter who it is, if we want the right person to win. Shoulder tackle, Mike Bennett sends Rhett Titus down to the mat. Off the ropes he goes, nice drop down. It is Rhett Titus who there follows go, Bennett baby. in with an abdominal stretch. Cobra twist. Yeah. The Cobra twist locked in beautifully. That's one thing and I like about Rhett now, how he's able to control his anger, control his mood. Um, explosiveness as well. And he lured him toward the ropes. One, two. And it's interesting, Bennett put the point of the elbow on that wrapped up quad. Right. But it broke the hole and the Titus went right for the pin. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen Bennett, you know, kind of notice that bandage around Rhett's leg. Uh, you know, we're not going to get into the details of that. I don't think you gentlemen, uh, you know, are, are, need to be privy to that information. It, it is what it is, man. We it's, all, a lot of times we work hurt. It is under wraps. Yes. Right. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Takes the ankle, driving down. Oh. Rhett's been in control of this match oh. right now. There we go. That cycling toe hold look beautifully applied. You can see the calf of Bennett being crushed between the gap of the knee and the, you know, the bones of the lower leg of Titus. Now has him in a Boston Crab position. High angle lion tamer into the crab, and he's luring him to the ropes. He lured him. He almost trapped him to force him to take the ropes. You say that like there's something wrong. Used by Mike Bennett. That's smart. Yeah, that it's investing. You right. know, he's yeah. investing early on in this matchup where he know he wants to get the submission, obviously, with every hold that he's putting on. But with certain holds, when you get them on early, you know, you'll be lucky to get a finish there. But in pure rules, you can use that as an investment that will pay dividends later on if you burn through those rope breaks and you take advantage of maybe an uncomfortable opponent who's not used to this rule set. And we've seen you do that plenty of times and caused you to get the victories when it, the person gets to the ropes and they can't use anymore. It pays off. And this cravat here. Going high with it, which that you lose some of the leverage when you have to go up high. That's why Rhett's on the tippy toes trying to fight from higher ground. But it's Bennett who snatches the side headlock. And Tracy, you also in the pure tournament to take you back there, you also weren't afraid to use your rope breaks either, preferring to use them to survive and continue and break holds to get you out of trouble. That's right. Five minutes left to time. Go. Ten minutes remaining. And Mike Bennett, here we go Whoa. for the London Dungeon here. Oh. And, and Titus looking to block it. That grip is in. Titus has a little bit of alleviation and able to twist out of it. Yeah, I think Bennett had to use an unorthodox grip there. Oh! Yeah. How are they going to call this one? Break. Yeah. Break. Yeah, that's a break. Yeah. Bennett, Bennett knew what was coming, man. It, yeah, I would have did that too. That, that is that rope belly, break number two pure. used by Mike Bennett. I agree with that call by, by Todd, by Todd Sinclair. That was, you know, Bennett stopped that throw from happening by grabbing yeah. the ropes. That's absolutely a rope break. That belly to belly was coming from Rhett. And I think this 15 minute time limit in the regular pure matches is a really great thing. I think it forces both competitors to keep a really solid pace and keep it up because you know exactly how long you have to get the job done. And so nobody's wasting any time here. And going down, dropping right to the front face lock. Half Nelson. Nelson. Yep. And that half over. Keeping the head. But Bennett's just so strong. His massive shoulders, too. And Bennett clasping his hands. Stay with the half. He stay with the half. There you go. No. One, yep. two. two. Rhett's trying to force him to also use his foot to break out of there. Ah. That'd be the last rope break as well. Oh, sure would. Double wrist lock here. And now taking control, it's Rhett Titus. Yeah. Really wrenching the arm. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Nice pitch chop across the chest. Oh. These and are some of the first strikes we're seeing in this contest oh. right here, huh? Well, as long as there's no punch, it's fair, right? Oh, yeah. And I don't know if I'd get into this kind of battle with Bennett. This has been part of his arsenal since he came to Ring of Honor originally yes. in the early 2010s. Into the corner. Oh, and he wants to be the wrestler of the 2020s. Again, follows in with a chop. Front face lock here. Well, he's certainly in the shape to do it, but he's choosing to try to do it in the pure division. And we're going to see how that works out for him. There we go. Beautiful standing switch by Titus. Bennett trying to keep that waist lock low. It allows him to break out just a little bit easier if you can push those hands lower. Now Titus off the ropes. Oh, he oh, caught oh. it right on flush on the chin right there. That was flush. And he might be come out on, cover. Come on, Rhett. Right. And Rhett, Rhett has Rhett. to go to the ropes. That is rope break number one used by Rhett Titus. So I have two for Bennett, one for Rhett Titus. No closed fists right now. You see Rhett's eyes. He knew where he was, though, Caprice. Yeah, he knew where he was. Well, Rhett still hurt. Look at his eyes. That 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 forearm got him. Got him good. He could be trying to lure Bennett in. Lure him into that corner. You may be an eternal optimist, Tracy. I'm Rhett back to his feet. He 
you got him good. And see, Bennett's giving him some time here, though. Bennett, I think he might have been cautious of that sort of possum strategy himself because he did not rush in. You see the Connor Elmo struggle there. Drop kick down to the quad, that taped quad. Oh, oh, oh God. Planting the ankle, dragging through leg whip. Oh, mm. wow. He's attacking it now. He's got to focus. Ah. And again. Now, let me ask you something, Tracy. You, with, with Rick going through this with his wrapped up leg, people do this to you all the time with your shoulder. What goes through your head when this is happening? Well, I think, you know, it, it can be a disadvantage for sure when, when you kind of show your opponent where you may or may not have an injury. But at the same time, you know, sometimes people get such tunnel vision on right. that arm or on that leg in, in the case here that you can use that to your advantage. You know exactly where they're going. Right. You know, if you're standing there with them, you know they're probably going to shoot a single up cover here by Rick. Yeah, trap get two. It. Uh, like, you know where they're going, right. you know? So you, as a strategy, you can almost use it to your advantage. And, you know, I mean, some people will wrap something up even if it's not hurt, you know? Oh, Boss Root always used to about that. the foot. Ooh. The pain radiating through the knee into the quad. And I'm starting to think Rhett didn't wrap that up just to wrap it up mm. based on his reactions here. If I was scoring this on points just a few minutes ago and I had Rhett ahead, I think it's moved a lot closer to even. But yes. the rope breaks are still in Rhett's favor. Yeah. Oh. That's right, Laura, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Oh. As Rhett. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, Bennett has found his no. focal point. Oh. Now perching Rhett Titus up on the top yeah. rope. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Shot across the shoulders. Oh. Wow. Come on, Brett. We talked about oh, this. Oh, and this is a signature move from Mike Bennett. The positioning would indicate he's looking for the backpack stunner here. Grabs a hold of the neck. Come on, Red. Game plan, game plan. There we go. Drops out of it. Oh, yes, oh, drop that's kick. it. It's over. That's a KO. Oh. Tracy, you know like I know, man. If you catch those feet to the face, you cancel Christmas. <laughs> And how many times in the early stages elapsed time, five minutes of the Ring of Honor restart did that drop kick win the foundation six-man mm -hmm. matches, tag team matches, win mm -hmm. one ret single matches? That's a secret weapon right there. Rick Abani, I've set people up for that drop kick. I've, I've taken that drop mm -hmm. kick. It hurts. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not your ordinary drop kick. And you can see Bennett feeling the effects here. Oh, oh yes. Beautiful connection. Oh, the damage is done. Oof. But thinking on the fly, he came right back. He's still got the space that he needed. Usually he likes the whole ring. The leg, two. Oh, had one arm trapped. Mm, that's but the third. That's the third. That's the third. Risk that is by the third and final rope break yep. used by Mike Bennett. How much time is left? Yeah, we're getting deep here. Just we're under in deep five waters. Minutes. Yeah. yeah, just under five minutes here are left. I heard Bobby give the 10 minute cue. Mike Bennett has no more rope breaks. That means he can be pinned or submitted. And on under between and, the and ropes. Went, went right to it. Yeah, right here. That's smart. And he's going after the neck of Bennett. Also smart. Surgically smart repaired. Wow. You're absolutely right, Tracy. Well, it's, it's all fair. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. And taking control of the wrist. Cut wrench here. Lovely. Tossing Bennett. Staying on top of him, too. Hooks the leg, two. Nice tight cover there, just gets two. That's right. This is where Titus shines. The, you know, deep waters here. This is where he shines. He's got conditioning like nobody else in Ring of Honor. Nobody can hold a candle to his conditioning. Tracy, I like you, because you're right. <laughs> we, and we've seen Rhett, whether it's putting 500 on the squat rack, whether it's him running five, six miles a day. This is where I, I might going, not agree yeah, what he's, he's doing, because he's, he's hurting, he's trying to, trying to come, he's taking a risk, and he's going to give Bennett time to get up. But Tracy, I've been trying to tell these people this for years about Rhett, and to have somebody vying for this, and it's not coming out of my mouth, solidifies it. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been saying this about Rhett, too. But, I'm just, but we're wrestlers. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. It's, it's a difference when you've been in the ring with this guy. So hold, maybe an ankle lock. He's got that, that what, bicep what, under the, the ankle. What's the call going to be here? Okay, wait, no, just pull the ball. Yeah, he, oh, he wow. the rope. That's two to, two he's gonna, to three. He's got his rope break, break number two yep. used by Rhett Titus. Two to three. Okay. okay. I mean, yeah, you got to go with what the ref says, but I don't know about that, fellas. I don't know about that. Bennett started that hold illegally. I'm and not going to argue with Todd. Yeah. And that's, that boot has been loosened up, whether by Titus to alleviate some of the swelling or by Bennett to make sure Ooh. that there's more impact. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Red's connecting with these right hands, though, really well. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's, oh, aiming, wow. he's aiming for the chin, wow. too. Yeah, he's aiming for the chin. 
Might have caught him under the ear there, trying to step over instead. Titus Grapevine. He's got a cradle. He's grabs a hold of the cradle. Two. Just a two count there. Backhand misses. Here it comes. Belly to belly. Here it is. Oh, oh. it's the leg gave oh, out. Man. The leg gave oh. out. That oh. loose boot oh. takes out the knee. No. Oh, man. Takes out the knee. And Bennett finds himself in control. Right, Titus has exhausted two rope breaks. Bennett, all three. Bennett can be pinned or submitted anywhere in the ring. It's a smart move by Bennett, man. You, you have to give oh. it to him. He's going to go for that power driver. Looking for his best shot here. Maybe the power bomb. We saw that against Gresham. Oh, wow. How? Rolls through. Sunset. One. Come on, Titus. Oh, trying to trap the ankle. Trying to get him with a toe hold here. Oh, now an ankle lock again. He's got that ankle. That boot has been loosened by Titus. There's clearly damage there. Here we go. Yes, nice. One. Cut. Nice. Two. Oh, great pinning combination. Bend it with a kick to the midsection. There we go. Just trying through to the legs, Titus. Has him stacked up, two! I mean, a pinfall attempts is red yeah. bad. The, the pace these guys are going at, deep into this one here. They know one minute remaining. Oh, oh, speaking of, that's why, Tracy, shot. that is why we are one minute deep. One minute left in the time limit. Ooh. Can somebody pull up the victory? Take it out of the hands of the judges. Bennett went to that leg. Back trying slide. to convert. Trying to convert. Yeah. Oh. Two. two. Shoulders came up. It's two to three right now. And look at this struggle here. Titus tries to get out of it by pushing up, and now it's Bennett yeah, trying it's a, to force the issue. Look, Titus' the legs feet. are out of him. Yep. Titus on one leg. There it is. There's that power. Oh, fireman's carry from a neat position. Hook. One, two, not much left for the cover. Two, these men are exhausted. They're fighting through it. They want to take the judges out of the equation Crucial here. Fix. Two. Ah, oh, man. Just a two count there. Ducks the right. Yeah. And yes. cut back to the lariat. Yes. I yeah. bet it back up. Oh. Just Titus, that was one of his own. Yeah. And gentlemen, we are approaching the time limit here. Oh, oh and that oh. is the time limit. That's, that, I think it's, I got, like it's writ. I got, I got two to three writ. I mean, you know where I stand. Yeah, I got, you I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, just, Rhett has three rope breaks. I mean, uh, Bennett used three rope breaks. Red only used two. I got Red. I'm just saying. I got Mike Bennett more high impact moves. Okay, well, I'm just going to go to the judges. I'm just glad I'm not a judge. Right, if if I was not, a judge. This is not an easy release. decision to Bennett call. used all of his rope breaks if I was a judge. I, I could see that. I think Mike landed more. I think he had more submissions. The 15 minute time limit has expired, so this match is decided by the judges. And by split decision, the winner of this match, Mike oh. Bennett! Wow. What? Mike Bennett with the victory what? here. I don't know about that one. And I'm a, hey, whatever. And Mike Bennett, oh. who I believe landed more submissions and more counter strikes. Oh. Okay. Okay. I got well, another Maybe I got another rule book again. I, yeah. Okay. I they were basically being no told, strikes. They were being told that he landed more strikes. But it's a total of honor at here, at here too. Mike Bennett, your winner here in this pure bout. Ring of Honor fans, this was a lot of fun for yeah. us here tonight to see this pure bout. Thank you, Tracy Williams, for joining us. For Tracy Williams, Caprice Coleman, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Thanks for watching. Happy wrestling, everybody. Catch Ring of Honor Wrestling's triumphant return to 2300 Arena with Death Before Dishonor, now on Honor Club. See ROH World Champion Bandito put the title on the line against Brody King, Demonic Flamita, and EC3 in an elimination four-way. The battle for the brand new ROH Women's Championship and much more. Find out why Honor has always been real. Watch Death Before Dishonor on Honor Club now.